So some people wonder how to do a steak really, really good. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. First thing, you wanna cover your steak with salt and pepper and you wanna leave it outside for at least 20 minutes after you get it out of the fridge because you do not wanna put a cold steak on a really, really hot frying pan because the oil is going to splatter all over the place and it's gonna sting you right in the eyes and that's gonna suck. Um, so these um, steaks are pretty much room temperature. This frying pan is hot as hell right now. I've been leaving it uh, on the fire for about five minutes. You wanna leave it for at least five minutes. See all the smoke coming out? That's what you want. Okay, I'm gonna add some oil to it. the oil around a little bit and then I'm going to add the steak and that steak is gonna cook for about a minute and a half before I flip it two minutes tops two minutes tops but you want it for at least a minute and a half but nothing past two minutes Okay, so it's been about a minute and a half. I have this to protect my hand because this thing will burn the hell out of my skin. So I'm just gonna grab it here and I'm gonna show you guys the color. And I'm gonna flip it. You see that golden brown color? That's what you guys want. You want that golden brown color because color means flavor. If it's brown, it's down. Okay? If it's too light, then put it away. Then put it away. If it's bland, dump it down the can. Okay? I'm trying to find dry. So, okay, so, now that I put this in, I'm gonna do something here to make this steak uh, much more flavorful. So what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna take some butter. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna put a clove of garlic. Clove of garlic. Put it there. I got a little bit of thyme and rosemary. So I'm gonna put some thyme in there. A couple of sprigs of rosemary. Okay, now, what I'm gonna do, I'm get a big spoon. Cooking. I'm gonna braise it. So you see that that oil? That's what you want. So you put it here. Bam. And you want to braise it. You want to braise that. And see that garlic clove on top? It's putting all of its magic on the skin. You want to braise that for like 20 times, 10 to 20 times. But I always go good 20 times. And you see that rosemary and that thyme? It's frying. And those things taste really good. It tastes really, really good. So, let's see. Look at the color. The color is perfect. You see the color? Perfect. So I'm just going to take the steak, lay it on the plate, and let it rest for about a good five minutes before I eat it. Because, you, because the juices inside the steak are... They're going all over the place. Okay, what's going on, what's going inside of the steak is like what was just happening on this frying pan, okay? Juices were splattering all over the place. So you want those juices to rest. That way when you open it up, the juices will splatter out. And then this fried rosemary, it goes really good. You can taste some of the fried rosemary with the steak, it's really tasty. And of course you got that garlic clove there. It's perfect, so there you go.